Well, Mike, we just wrapped up the first Friday night of high school football, and um, a couple of surprising scores out there. I mean, I think you and I both picked De La Salle to win tonight, but uh, did either of us have them winning 14 to nothing? No. We heard a lot about that Folsom offense, and a lot of people said that was going to be the difference in the game, and uh, the Folsom offense put up a big zero. So, uh, <clears throat> But, you know, we were impressed with De La Salle's defense when we went and saw the scrimmage right. last week. They, they look fast. They look big. They look, you know, they're always well coached. So, no, I mean, that that's a good defense. Right, right. I mean, they, they really did a great job. I mean, uh, Shamir Garrett had a couple of interceptions. They played great defense. Wallace played great defense on – on the big stud receiver who's going to Clemson out of uh, from Folsom, zero uh, zero at halftime. De La Salle had four uh, had forced four turnovers uh, going into halftime. Um, then they they force a three and out early third quarter. They get the ball back at a, a nice punt return by Garrett and and then uh, a pass from uh, Hale to Isaiah Foskey over the middle touchdown and that was all the points De La Salle needed tonight. They they ended up scoring another touchdown in the fourth quarter and uh, and won that game 14 nothing before an overflow crowd. Talking to some uh, De La Salle people on the sideline they said it reminded them of the old days. It was um, the biggest crowd they can remember at De La Salle in years. So uh, good to see. Uh, big, big win for the Spartans. We talked about the, uh, the implications going into the game that uh, De La Salle needed to win if they wanted to return to the state open division game in December, and uh, now they're on track. Yes, they are. No, it's a, a very good victory for De La Salle because I think a lot of people thought they were going to lose tonight, and uh, yeah, they <clears throat> they showed we something. Weren't, no, we weren't. No, we were. We were not we were among not. the people who thought they were going to lose. But you might have been at the game of the night, uh, the way it turned out. Was it? I mean, yeah, that obviously, was, obviously my game was three against four in the state, but your game... Yeah, I was at the, the Pitt Clayton Valley game, won by Clayton Valley, thirty one or thirty eight thirty one in double overtime. You know, that game I really came into the game thinking that Pittsburgh was gonna beat Clayton Valley pretty badly and I think Clayton Valley might have thought that too, to be honest. They've had some injuries and kids leave and, and uh there was some thought that this was gonna be a tough game and then they got down ten nothing in the first three minutes. But after that, they, uh, I mean, they did a lot of good things. They were very opp opportunistic. And uh, they, they gave Pittsburgh, uh, I mean, they right. gave Pittsburgh what for? I saw your tweet, uh, opening kickoff uh, for Pittsburgh, 7 nothing. I think it got to 10 nothing. And, yeah, 47-yard field and you're goal. you're thinking, oh, my gosh, it's, it's you know, Pittsburgh's going to roll. But, man, I mean, they got the 10-point lead tonight. They had the 21-point lead in the state final uh, in their last game. And they just can't hold on. Well, no, and I said in the story, I said this game was eerily similar to that game against Narbonne last year where Pittsburgh got up 21 zip and lost. I mean, this was a little different. It was 10 zip, and then Clayton Valley had a big play to make it 10-7 real quick. But, I mean, the thing is, is the Eagles, were they took advantage of it. They had there was three turnovers, and they had a couple kids. That, that Cade, Mar uh, Cade Carter, the, the, right. the young man who's going to Air Force, I mean, he he's a budding star. He played a great game. He had a long touchdown pass. He uh, had a big fumble return. He had an interception. I mean, he's a good-looking player. And uh, these two Sum uh, Sumter kids, Logan and, and uh, Carson, uh, Logan's a quarterback, Carson the running back, and uh, they both were very impressive. You know, Clayton lost uh, their running back, Gervais early, uh, early in the third quarter, and that's when Carson Sumter came in. Gervais is a good back, too. He had 100 yards before he got hurt, and you know, I don't know what how serious the injury is. All right. I mean, before we wrap this up, let's give a couple of shout-outs. Uh, Camp Lindo with a big win tonight over Marine Catholic. Uh, you could read Vitas Masika's story in uh, the East Bay Times, uh, eastbaytimes.com and mercurynews.com. Um, San Ramon Valley with uh, that score kind of 56 14 over Heritage. That's yeah, that's a little more than I thought. Right, yeah. right. Monta Vista going, that's a great going on the road and winning over Granite Bay 9 3. I mean, uh, Monta Vista and De La Salle of the East Bay Athletic League holding Granite Bay and Folsom to three points combined. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know. I, 
to be, to be honest, I think comparing Dale LaSalle and Monta Vista is like comparing apples yeah. and oranges. Oh, well, but, I was just, you know, but just, just throwing that out. That's obviously. a great victory for Monta Vista. I mean, you want to give a shout out to a team there. I mean, right. man alive. Uh, Liberty. High hopes going yeah. in, and uh, according to this score here, it's Liberty 35, Vacaville 10. And that, that's I mean, Vacaville's one. got a good program, so uh, that's a that's a surprising uh, score. Freedom wins its first game under Coach Cotter. Yeah, uh, Cotter. Cotter. Yes. Um, they beat, uh, who did they beat? Turlock. Yeah, Turlock, was, that's yeah. right. That's another right. solid team. That's right. Um, Moreau Catholic with a win over St. Patrick, St. Vincent. That's a surprise. Um, I thought St. Patrick would be a pretty good team, and Moreau comes out and uh, lays a pretty good whipping on them. Yeah. Um, Isn't Moreau, too? They're coached by uh, Rob Gutrell, I think, was right. uh, the assistant there, former Liberty guy. Right. Um, obviously, this is only an NCS version because the uh, CCS uh, will start next week. So we'll have a full slate of games next week, and we'll uh, do our recap on a Saturday. Uh, we're going to post this on Saturday, but we're taping this on Friday, Friday night, night here in Walnut Creek. Um, it's good to get going. It was good. I think we could have waited another week or so, yeah, but, to be honest. But we saw some good games. No, we did. The game I was at was a great, had a great tonight. game tonight. Yeah. Vitas had a good game. My game was, was you know, 14 nothing. I mean, you got to... You got to give a lot of credit to De La Salle's defense. So that's pretty phenomenal. But anyhow, uh, read us at uh, MercuryNews.com, EastBayTimes.com. Uh, follow us on Twitter. You'll see our Twitter handles below. Uh, oh, the newsletter. Got to read the. You got to sign up for the newsletter. Uh, it's all over our stories. Uh, we will be giving uh, recaps on Monday morning with links and whatnot uh, to all of our content and uh, uh, even content from beyond our, you know, little Bay Area news group. Uh, yeah. um, and, uh, and then on Thursdays, we'll have the weekend preview for the newsletter. So all you have to do is put in your email address and the newsletter will drop into your inbox for free. There you go. Yes. So. Oh, and I guess one more bit of news we probably should say. Oh. That Jacob Band is committed tonight to Washington. Right. Uh, he Not said, tonight. It was like uh, or, two hours or, before, yeah, before two the hours game. Before his game. I mean. Yeah. yeah. And, Good for him. But I did talk to him after, and then he said it came down to Washington and Cal, and he said it was very difficult to say no to Cal, but uh, he just felt Washington was the best fit. Very good. Well, check out our coverage uh, all over the internet, all over the Bay Area News Group uh, websites, and uh, we will chat with you to preview next week's action.